KMAC meteorologist Alex O'Brien. Good morning. Welcome back, everybody, outside. It's a beautiful start. We can start to see that morning glow as the sun is coming up. And it actually officially rose a minute ago, but we're looking towards the west. So we're just seeing the glow, not the actual sun rising. Uh, the Jones look, looks beautiful this morning. It's nice and clear. So despite the humidity, we're not seeing the fog. There are some clouds in New Mexico. We might see those come into the South Plains today, but just a few high clouds, that's it. We're going to be in a dry pattern for the next couple of days since yesterday into today. But overall, this season has been very active, not just for Lubbock, but for really the Great Plains. We've been stormy, stuck in a weather pattern that's remained persistent more or less for the past month, past month or two. Areas of low pressure have been very common in the western half of the U.S. and areas of high pressure have been very common to the southeast, bringing record-breaking heat and late May snowstorms to the Rocky Mountains, leaving us here in the middle with our active severe weather season. It seems like every day we're waking up with more reports of tornadoes that touch down overnight and somewhere across the Great Plains. So we are thankful for a couple of down days. We've certainly had enough rain. We need some drying stretches here to dry out our fields and rural roads. Today, another dry one for us. Upper 70s, low 80s by lunchtime. We will see a temperature spread here from northwest to southeast. Low 90s possible towards Snyder, Jayton, mid 80s for the bulk of the region, and then upper 70s to the northwest. And that cooler air is coming in with a cold front by tonight. And that is where we have our next chance of rain. So starting Wednesday morning, we might see a few thunderstorms pretty much between about Spur, Post, La Mesa, and towards Snyder. So that's what we're looking forward to Wednesday morning. Most of that activity should just stay to the southeast, but a couple of afternoon thunderstorms are possible isolated across the region on Wednesday afternoon. So that's our next chance of rain here, but we are expecting that trend to continue. Unfortunately, we'll be still stuck in that weather pattern at least through the weekend. Next week is trending a bit more on the dry side and more normal for this time of year. Actually, today is quite normal. 86 for the high. That's our average, 86. Our sunrise just happened at 640, and it is a nice to even sunrise and sunset. 640 and then 850. So tonight we'll have a cold front that will increase the cloud cover by Wednesday with those morning showers to the southeast Wednesday morning. Afternoon thunderstorms are possible in Lubbock for the evening and we have a better chance of thunderstorms I would say for Lubbock Friday and Saturday. We'll watch for any severe potential with those. Yeah, not out of the woods just yet. We're still in severe weather season, even though yesterday might have fooled you. It was so beautiful right. out. Everybody <sighs> was out cooking, walking in my neighborhood, out by the pool. I know. I feel like if you just drove through town, you could smell the grilling <laughs> everywhere. Hopefully you've got one more day of that today before we're watching out for some more active weather. Mm -hmm.